So what brings you here today? Um, we're here together, together, and um, um, to fight against the um, um, violence of the police force and to support this um, revolution, I would say. What's uh so the people back at home in, in Canada, what would you say to them? How did this all start? Why is there a protest? Um, we're having this protest because um, at the beginning, we're having the extradition bill in Hong Kong. And the government is trying to pass this law in Hong Kong. But of course, we're not um, going to let this happen because it is so unjust and it's not fair. Because in Hong Kong, is a city of democracy, of freedom, of rights protecting us, but then with this bill, uh, we're going to lose all these values. So what? why has the protest got so violent? Um, we see images back home of protesters fighting police, police fighting protesters. Why has it gotten so violent? Um, initially, it's so, it was so peaceful, and we're just trying to uh, have demonstration on the, on the street and uh, we want to voice out our opinions and our demands to the government. We want them to listen and we don't want to have any violence because we believe that the government is supposed to listen to us. But then um, not only the government did not listen to us, they actually used the police force to attack the citizens, like using a lot of violent methods, such as they beat the protesters, they use, they shoot a lot of tear gas towards the people. We don't have any weapons, we cause no threat to the people, to the police force. But then, I believe that there is actually hatred between and conflict between the police force and the protesters now. It, it seems like the protests are violent. violent. Protests come violent. The police come violent. Protests get higher in the violence. Police get. Where does it end? How will it end? Actually, we don't know when would it end or how would it end. But what we all think is that. Our demands are accepted by the government, and to the police force no longer exploit the power on the people. So, what do you think needs to be done to end the protests? How can the protests stop and everybody live happily? Um, What's the solution? Of course, the government has to listen to us first. Um, and if, if they I, don't? And if they don't, we have to continue our protests.
is the year of revolution. This is about justice, this is about democracy, freedom, human rights, and what is right and wrong.